Now here we are uh, setting up a website in Dreamweaver CS5. Um, we've already gone through uh, video one in this series. This is video two. Okay, we had just put in our uh, copyright down at the bottom here. Now um, let's make this uh, layout cell also have uh, a style of its own. We'll call it the footer style. Okay, so selecting our CSS styles window on the right hand side we're going to choose a new CSS rule class is the selector type that we want footer is our um, style name and we're going to click OK and um, what I know I want here let's move it to the right here so that we have we can see when we apply it uh, let's go to box uncheck same for all for padding and give it a bit of padding at the top there let's say apply that of course it's not applying yet because I haven't defined it in the footer here so uh, we're gonna go back here and make sure that we're we've selected the cell we have put our cursor there on our breadcrumb choose the first TD from the right hand side table data tag okay class Footer. Now we see that it's applied. Okay, the, the the cell actually has the style hooked into it. All right, so um, so we have our footer here. We have our header going here. We've got our menus. We've got the the core area where uh, new content will go. Let's just take out that default text and uh, let's go file save all. Okay, now we have our basic template. Um, Let's close that. All right, and we're going to start. Uh, we're going to open our our files window here. Double click on the CSS styles uh, tab bar to shrink that down. We can see all our files. Um, we actually want to create some of the files that we're going to be editing within the site. So we'll go File New, and this time we'll choose Page from Template. Okay, we only have the one Site Core. And click create. Now it says untitled document up here. Let's call that, uh, well, home isn't actually a good title for a page, is it? Say help video guru home page. Let's do for now. Hit enter. File. Save. And uh, general name for uh, home pages is index.html and click on save okay we'll see that it appears on the right hand side now there's a uh, few other pages that we need right so let's do them one at a time here here's our videos page file save as videos, click on save, and we'll just repeat that for the other pages. Now don't put spaces within your file names, okay? Put a dash or an underscore instead. Or just run them together. But um, a dash or an underscore helps the search engines actually break your words apart. It's good for uh, search engine optimization, okay?
Okay, so now we actually have all of our uh, pages defined here. I don't see the contact page. I'm going to just click over here and press F5 to refresh the list. And there's the contact page. Okay. Now, let's uh, go File, Close All. All right. And we're going to go back to our site template. All right. Um, this is our navigation area. So what we're going to do is select the text for home. Under the end properties where it says a link, we've got this uh, point to file icon here. Click on that, hold your mouse button down, and drag over index is the applicable page. Okay, and you'll see that that's now a link. All right, and we'll do the same thing videos. downloads links privacy policy and contact me okay now watch when we save this file save it asks us would you like to update all files based on this template click update. I like to have show log selected. It examined six files, it updated all six of them. Those two numbers won't always match. Sometimes examined files aren't applicable or are already updated, etc. So, uh, you know, don't panic if they don't match. Okay. Uh, we click close. Now if we open up, say, our uh, contact page, you'll see that it also has the links. So that's the strength of first creating uh, a core template. Okay, any changes that I make here, you know, for example, if I want to add the .com, Control Save, Update, Close, open the links page, the .com is there. Okay, you don't have to uh, make that change six times or a hundred times or a thousand times. You make the change once, and your site structure throughout is updated. All right, it's a very powerful feature. It's one of the best features uh, available in Dreamweaver. Okay, now uh, let's go uh, minimize that. Go back to CSS styles, and we're going to create a new CSS rule for uh, our navigation. Okay, so make sure class is the selector type navigation the selector name and click OK. Alright, now um, let's go to block for example and text align to the right. We click apply. Well, I haven't applied it to our navigation yet, have I? So we'll click OK. And for each cell here, go to um, you know, here's where home. Click on the first TD from the right. Class, navigation. You see how it moves over. Okay, first TD from the right. Class, navigation. All right. We'll just do that all the way down. Oh, see, I didn't click on the TD here. Let's. I clicked on the, uh, the, I, the it took the, took it as the A first. Make sure it's the TD, okay, for table data navigation. Now, in this uh, area here, if we click on make sure navigation is selected we can click on edit rule okay down the icon down at the bottom there and uh, let's see let's play with the font size a bit here okay that might be better and uh, of course you can do you can make things a bit bolder okay and um,
I'm going to show you next how to uh, style the links. Okay, you see that by default they're blue, they're underlined, right? They have. Uh, let's 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 save this page and I'll show you something here. I'm going to update, close, close our style sheet. Of course, save that. All right double click here to cl minimize that click on files all right let's open our index page and press F12 to preview in a browser okay now here it comes up there we go now our basic empty site right uh, you see how they turn purple each page has been visited. They're purple. All right. Um, blue, purple. Those may not be the colors that you want. Uh, join me with the next video, and I'm going to show you how to do the CSS styling on those links. Okay.